Yo, what is good, Tristans? And Tristan. Today, we're going to be reacting to Billie Eilish singing Sally's song from The Nightmare Before Christmas live. I consider myself at this point to be a Nightmare Before Christmas expert. I don't know why I said it like that. I am the vocal coach hiding under your bed. <laughs> but before we get started, be sure to check me out. Instagram! Oh my god, I started this way too high today. Oh. All right. TikTok. TikTok. Patreon! Also, I'm teaching lessons again. Link to that down in the description below if you think that what I'm saying today is on goddamn point, okay? And I, I guarantee you it's gonna be. So what we're gonna be doing, just for fun, I'm gonna first react to Billie Eilish singing. Then, in the second half of the video, we're gonna compare her performance to that of the original singer. And we're gonna see how it's different. Not which is better, not if she blah blah blah, but how they're different. Just for the sake of it, okay? And also, before we get started, today's video is sponsored by NordVPN! I'm so psyched to say today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. NordVPN is a VPN subscription service that lets you connect to almost any country in the entire world. I use NordVPN for a number of different things. Privacy, malware protection, and probably what I use it most often for, accessing content that's only available in different countries. So I use NordVPN in order to get around some of those region locks and watch the content that, to be quite frank, I already pay for. And I use NordVPN to watch my favorite cooking shows. NordVPN is extremely easy to use. All you do is select the country that you want to connect to on the left-hand side of the app, hit connect, boom, done. It's safe, it's easy, it's quick. So what are you waiting for? NordVPN is now offering a Cyber Month deal. Just click the link down below or use code Tristan Paredes for a two-year plan plus one free month at a huge discount. This is a limited time offer, so if a great VPN subscription service is interesting to you, feel free to check the link down below. Thanks again, NordVPN, for sponsoring this video, and now it is finally time. All right, Billy Girl, what we got going on here? Billy Girl, Billy, Billy, Billy. <laughs> what do we got here? Now, it is my great pleasure to announce a very special guest star singing the part of Sally. Please give a warm welcome to Miss Billy Irish. Ooh! She looks great. This person needs to stop. This was fantastic, but the, that that cringe is a little bit high. Her hair looks fantastic. Oh. My dearest Jack. Oh, how I hope my premonition is wrong. Oh, this is good, dude. Whoa. Dude. Oh my god. Dude. Okay. This is surprisingly amazing. Oh my god. She's being so careful. I genuinely wonder how long it took her to practice to get this as good as it is. We're going to talk about that going forward, obviously, but I don't know if she just pulled this out of her ass or what, but it's it's phenomenal, actually. And there's people who say she can't sing live. Ooh. Dude. Oh my god. I'm so upset that this is Sally's only song. I think they do a duet actually at the end. 
Her stage presence is so good. I want to listen to that again. All right, let's skip ahead to their duet. And then we're going to do a little bit of analysis, okay? Holy fuck. That was way better than I thought. So at the end of the movie, Jack and Sally sing a very short duet together. Let's check that one out. Our queen is back! Uh, now I'm being the annoying guy with the camera. <laughs> this is such a cool show. My dearest friend. He sounds the same! You don't mind. I'd like to join you by your I'm getting goosebumps. Where we can gaze into He's almost 70 years old. And he sounds exactly the same. And sit together, uh. and forever, for Key change there is so pretty. <laughs> Ooh, my concealer. My makeup routine is just slap it on and, and run. Lord Jesus. Ooh. I didn't think that this would affect me at all. What the fuck is that? Bro, if that's how big Jack Skellington actually is, that's fucking terrifying. How is he 70 years old? He looks so good. Oh, I would kill to have gone to that! Holy fuck! Okay, so there's a few differences between Billie Eilish's Sally and Sally Sally, and we're gonna go into some of those. They're not too extreme though. Billie did a very good job of doing a lot of the same stylistic choices. So let's jump, let's jump into some of those. This gonna be lit, brother. I Ah, she's a bit louder than Sally. Well, they maybe are actually similar volume levels in general. In the lower range, however, Billie Eilish is a bit louder because she goes, can't shake this feeling that I have. It's a sound we can, let's use this term. Her voice gets more metallic sounding, meaning it's more shiny, it's more raw, it's more primalistic in a sense. Let's compare that to Sally, whose voice never goes there. So take a listen. I'm certain when she comes down, can't shake this feeling that I have. She does something like that. I sense there's something in the wind that feels like tragedies at hand. There it is. The other thing is that this is just my view, my opinion. I think Billie Eilish is using a bit more of her falsetto than Sally actually uses. At the beginning here. You can call it head voice as well. I don't care what you call it. It's this whoopee sound, right? Tragedies at hand. Sally is just in her normal voice singing at a very low volume in a light way. Tragedies at hand. Right? Billie Eilish, that feels like tragedies at hand. She switches into her falsetto. It's hard to tell though with the audio quality, but that's just how I think of it. Right? There it is. Yep, there we go. Falsetto. Yo, so it's editing Tristan. A couple of glasses of wine in. I, I feel like I needed to add this. Something I've recognized about the original Sally is that her use of falsetto, I've watched a number of her different live performances now. It's not consistent when she is in falsetto or when she isn't in falsetto. There's no rhyme, reason, plan or practice behind it. And I think probably that's because I don't think she was originally supposed to actually be the singer of Sally. But at the same time, that's what makes her performance so beautiful and raw and real feeling uh, is that she sometimes does notes in her normal voice where normally you would expect a singer to be in falsetto and vice versa. So I just think that's an interesting thing to add here. I actually, at, at the beginning, tried to do more of a broken voice because I thought her voice is untogether as her body, you know, is stitched up as her body. Additionally, Billie Eilish uses a lot of more vib- In fact, I don't think Sally ever uses vibrato. I think part of that is the original voice actress was not really a singer, she was an actor who could also sing. Doing my Sally song, that was scary because I've only done really kind of uh, character singing. 
We're simply meant to be. At some points, I'd sound like, you know, a choir boy. I excused it by saying, you know, Sally's not that well formed, so it's okay that she can't sing that well. That being said, it's not like she had a bad performance or anything, but she doesn't use any vibrato at all, as opposed to Billie. Billie Eilish is using sort of a darker sound. She's switching to falsetto a little bit earlier. She's adding more vibrato. This original Sally is singing with a higher sound, right? Her general sound color is lighter or brighter. Ooh. It makes this Sally sound way weaker. Billy's Sally sounds a bit stronger. This Sally sounds weaker. It, which, in a sense, maybe her voice is actually physically weaker. It's a little bit less singery, in a sense. It's a little bit more of like a, a voice actor talking on pitch. But that's what makes it beautiful. Where will his actions lead us then? Although I'd like to join the Sally has a very, when she does try to do vibrato, it's a very warbly vibrato. So she goes, in the I'd like to join the crowd. Right, it just barely comes out. It's not really there. It's not present in her voice. But yeah, anyway, let's jump back to Billy. Billy also is varying the speed of her vibrato. So on notice, does he know? Is. She does a very fast vibrato, but most of the time she's doing relatively slow vibrato. There's the slow one. It's also the Billie Eilish trademark vibrato, where her vibrato also has like a variation in the volume. B. Right? And it, it there's an element of it that's quiet and there's elements of it that's loud. So it sounds kind of like uneven in a sense and almost like sound like the verge of not existing. B right? That's how I hear it at least. Ah! This is more like the original singer. There's less falsetto at the top. Hard to tell again the the audio quality. Falsetto though. Sally would never make that sound. Because <laughs> Billy, Billy, again, goes slightly metallic on Cloud. The point isn't to, to sound exactly like Sally, right? That's not what she's here to do. And also, that would be kind of silly. Because there's only one Sally, there's only one Billy. Billy, sing it the way that you want to sing it. It sounds fantastic. I loved it. But just saying for, you know, for the sake of having a fucking video, okay? And entertaining you dumb fucks. Hey, relax! <sighs> okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> oh, man. It pops for a second, right? Sally never pops. She never quite goes there with her voice to the point where it becomes more metallic. It always stays light. It always stays in this light, easy, neutral sounding space, right? So pretty. That's really good. Ooh. But you know, I, I think this goes generally with, I mean, when you, when singers start to explore different parts of their voices, right? Like Billie Eilish has been doing more belty stuff recently, you know, in Happier Than Ever. Obviously she goes into that place with her voice that's super loud and aggressive, more so than we've ever really heard in her voice, generally speaking, aside from like a song or two. And so you're hearing, I, I, this is my opinion, I'm hearing that more in her vocals in general now, where her voice goes into that louder, more metallic, slightly more aggressive space than I'm used to hearing her voice go. Like for example, Ocean Eyes, she would never go there with her voice back in the day. Her voice has actually also gotten darker. Let's see how Sally ends that. Oh, I'm sweaty. I'm sorry. I'm getting worked up. <laughs> Oh, that vibrato. There's something about the way that the original Sally sings it that sounds so 
pathetic in a great way because that's what the intention of the character is you're supposed to feel really bad for her because her life is fucked up and she's pursuing this weird egomaniac narcissist sociopath fucking skeleton man <laughs> her life is fucked up as shit she's been locked in a goddamn tower her whole life with some crazy deranged lunatic bad man who ends up cutting off half of his brain to create a wife for himself out of his own brain. Okay, but anyway, so you're supposed to kind of feel bad for her and you get that sense in her vocals because her character is incapable of getting louder. It's incapable of being aggressive in any sense. And the vibrato is not even able to maintain a steadiness to it. It's always falling apart. Or I am not the one. And she sings on the consonants. You're not supposed to do that. Obviously, you can if you want to. Um, but generally speaking, trained singers don't sing on consonants. I am not the one. Because it, it doesn't, uh, I don't, I hesitate to say it doesn't work, but it doesn't work generally outside of character voices generally but this is obviously a character voice so it does work and it makes her sound more authentic i think in a sense but anyway that was super fun and i hope you enjoyed my reaction to this i had a lot of fun going into this this was way more fun than i ever could have imagined i also of course obviously reacted to the nightmare before christmas so if you thought this was interesting you should be sure to check that out and also be sure to check me out instagram tiktok Patreon. I love my Patreon so much. I'm trying to slow my video down here so you guys, it can scroll. You can see all the names. You sign up for Patreon. You get to see the name on the screen. Also, I've got lots of cool videos over there. Been reacting to High School Musical. I think I'm on episode four, which hopefully I get up this week. But anyway, also lessons down in the description. Until next time, Tristan's. And just from. Be sure you subscribe to this channel, you guys, because that was fucking awesome, wasn't it? Peace.